Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world with respect to anywhere else you want to go. If I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to compete. You want to fight in Vegas and now it's beautiful. T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Grusser. Push kick there to the body. Beautiful reaction by her there. She catches the kick and looks for an immediate takedown with that. Reactionary takedown are the best takedowns because you don't have to go and create them. She did exactly that on that takedown after catching the kick. Right hand lands flush. Hebas going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Frantic pace early on to this one. Push kick there to the body. She got that leg kick off quick. Lock him, suck him out of the suit here. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Grasso. All right, so she lands another job right there. Her opponent better make some adjustments here. This could be a short night. One of those adjustments, John, is to move her head. She's got to stay off the center line when you're fighting a high-level boxer like this. You cannot fly the forward, or you will be on the receiving end and jab after jab. Some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. That one snuck in. Nice fight. Fighter lands a left now. Takedown defense holds up. Man, does she throw these hands seamlessly and easily connects with another series. Is there. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very bad. Able to find that one shot that would have the fight. Well, man, has she come out aggressively here to start this fight, connecting on a lot of shots so far here in this first round. All offense, all the time. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, she is good with that hook tonight. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets long. Oh, she is the bees. Yeah. Yes. So bad. Just so bad. They talk about dad jokes and how they're no good, but I love them. Maybe because I'm a dad too. I mean, they're awesome. They're Just awesome. so bad. But yeah, she is the bee's knee. And the knee was nice. It was a great job. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Well, 
her body has really absorbed a lot of shots in this fight, and now you're starting to see some of that redness, the visible damage. You gotta make an adjustment, I would think. She's gotta make an adjustment. I mean, she has to do something different. Right now, she is a step behind her opponent. Every time her opponent gives her a feint, she overreacts and then bang, here comes the body attack. She's got to take the lead if she wants to stay in this fight. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish, but if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round. DC, talk us through the knockdown, if you will. I mean, she was able to get to her spot. She was able to find the sweet spot, land that strike that put her opponent on her butt. Next time she lands that, the fight will be over. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Well, she told us coming in that the body strikes and the body work would be a big clear star for game plan in this fight. And you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen, that absolutely tells the story. No one's gonna accuse her of being a headhunter here tonight. She has worked that body to great effect. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, crippling knee to the body. And she caught the kick. Well, we haven't really seen her fame jiu-jitsu game just yet, but of course, if it's not broken, don't fix it, and she has realized a ton of success with her striking here tonight. Every day, you have to get better. 1% they say as an athlete. She has shown that she... Oh! Kibas's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Catches the kick there, we'll see what she can do with it. Rosso gets tagged by that stiff jab. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. She knew this would be a problem if she stayed there. She finds her way out of the push position. Try to establish that jab. Hebas is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking, and she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. We go two minutes down here in the second round. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Immediately gets the underhook. Hebas's eye is closing up. She's staying busy here, connecting with those punches. Ooh, big knee. Back to the feet now. Rosso going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, she's got kicks, and I'm not talking about her sneakers. Well, she has certainly picked up. Another one. Big right hand there. Oh, that's big. Oh! We got a fight, folks. He bosses. Hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Busy in the clinch. Lands that punch. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike left. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. 
Man, it's hard to remember her kicking game being on this level in the past. She made it a focus during training camp, and tonight you see the results of all the time spent kicking during training camp. Oh, did she get tagged by that combination there? And unless they're going to give her headgear between rounds, she better start raising that guard. She's got to start doing... Something, but it's a testament to her opponents throwing so many strikes. She's being so accurate with everything that she is throwing. He boss gets the single leg takedown. Well played. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transition. Way to maintain that guard. And now a little space between the two fighters. Well, well, she told us she was the best boxer in this division, and certainly the film tonight dovetails with that opinion. Her hands are on point. You know, John, every time they say that, I'm the best in this, I kind of roll my eyes because I'm like, you can't be the best at everything. <laughs> but she has proven tonight that she has the best hands. We have not seen her look this good. And it's her volume, it's her accuracy, it's all that, it's everything that she's doing that's allowing for me to form this opinion that is in line with what she told us this week earlier. Big power shot there. Great job blocking that shot. Ten seconds to go in the round. Boys, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We thought the fight was done but we move forward because her opponent is so tough, but she's so skilled that she can't get there again. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Yes, yes. And she caught the kick. So gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the this, offense this. there. Her defense holding up. She blocked that punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Look at the turtle in that kick. Well, she ain't cocky, but she is confident, and why not? Big knockdown in the previous round. She appears to have the striking advantage. She's doing everything right. That's what led her to getting that knockdown to finish the earlier round. Push kick there to the body. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, 
Nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to score all the way now, but look for her big ground bomb. Oh! Goes down again! His eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. She's got to start looking to finish here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big left hook there. Body shot. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been... Oh, oh, no. Back to the feet. Oh, oh nice takedown defense. Ooh, big shot to the body. Well, we sat down... Oh. So how about this result tonight? She told us in the fighter meeting, I got to get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute of it. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was going to get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance by this young lady. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Alexa Grasso. Oh, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. Buff, careful on the stairs down, man. But Alexa Grasso, your winner by TKO, and really played to her strengths well here tonight. She did. You know, she knows that her boxing is going to be the key. So she used her boxing to hurt her opponent, and when she got the opportunity to finish, she got it done.